watching to find out how you can save $500 on your Glowforge. This is the second of two videos on how to make a tabletop retro video game arcade machine. Plus, we show you how to use a Glowforge to make wood that bends. Once we bought the components and made sure everything worked, it was time to design and print the cabinet. Any graphics program will work for the Glowforge. You can even use a hand-drawn image, because the Glowforge has a built-in camera that scans your drawings and converts them to cutting, scoring, and engraving lines. Once we had a design we liked, we uploaded it to the Glowforge app. The first prototype we made had sharp corners and they poked into our palms when we used buttons and joystick. So for our second design, we used a living hinge, which is a cool way to bend wood. With these kinds of hinges, you can make beautiful and functional things. The Glowforge not only cuts material, it also engraves designs, even photos in high resolution. My daughter and I took a cue from the original Macintosh team and engraved our names on the inside of the cabinet. It was really fun to assemble this project. The cabinet sides and mounting holes were cut so accurately, it felt like we were putting together a kit. We used a USB joystick and button kit, which costs about $10 online and has an interface card that plugs directly into the Raspberry Pi. We also bought a 10.1 inch HDMI display online for about $55. Once everything was assembled, mounted and connected, we powered it on. In just a few minutes, we were playing our favorite retro video games. Now that we have the designs, we can make new game arcades in just about an hour. They'll make great birthday gifts for my retro game playing nieces and nephews. Visit glowforge.com slash boingboing to receive up to $500 off the purchase of a Glowforge.